Cheers, YouTube family. Oh, you're part of the family too, so happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Oh man, I don't know about you. Coffee, landscaping, and of course, grilling later. Just doing a few of my favorite things today, bringing you along the journey as we uh, just relax on a fine Sunday. And, oh my goodness, recover from yesterday's epic filming in Leadville. It's a lot of work slash very tiring to film a race. I'm realizing how much energy you really exert to get all those shots and, oh, to turn it around in, you know, less than 12 hours for an edit. So anyway, we are recovering right now. And so I'm throwing you a curveball. Gonna lead off with the question of the day rather than save it for the end. What do you all do for Father's Day? And there's a global audience watching. So that is amazing. And I think obviously we love talking about running, running shoes, training, all that good stuff. But it's also good just to learn about your uh, traditions, your culture, what you like to do for Father's Day around the world. So let us know down in the comments what's your favorite thing. That'd be awesome. All right. Time to relax. meat out of the fridge here oh yeah father's day tradition i would say turning into a father's day tradition grilling can't beat it love it all the time no matter what all the time love it love it love it oh baby let's put that right there grabbing the spices barbecue sauce i went to ace hardware the other day grab some barbecue sauces Oh my goodness, put that there. Oh, stop the madness. We've got peach and pepper, Carolina gold. Oh, stop it, stop it, I can't take it, I can't take it. All right, here I come. Butter my bread, butter my bread. There it is, there it is, come on now. Man, I love me some grilling. I don't know why I like it so much. I think it's just the uh, fact that I can actually cook something that doesn't involve like a recipe. Although you are working with, um, you know, you're working with spices and barbecue sauces and sauteing and all that. But it's a, uh, you just put it on the grill, monitor closely and enjoy the process. What can I say? I like options. I like options. Look at that. All right, let's put it on. Never tried this one before. Apple cinnamon barbecue sauce. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. A little too fast. I'll be frank. I love, I love filming the grilling process. It's a pretty fun process to film. Oh man butter my bread. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> we're rolling. Right, and I, you, I just flipped them so you haven't even seen like the, the sauces. Oh my my. Babe. Oh, do you like it? Good? Thumbs up, yay! Oh, that was precious. It's amazing. Oh. Boom. So, Asan, look at your table. Oh I set the table. Oh my gosh, you're ready, babe. We are ready to rock ready to roll and roll. roll. Watch your hands on the grill. Boom, flip. Now let me try it on myself. Boom. Squeeze hard. Oh, you got it. That's good. Flip this one. It's hot, so you just gotta, you can't touch this side. Huh. Close. I got it. Oh, family, thanks for a great Father's oh. Day. Oh, it's the best Father's Day dinner ever. Mm -hmm. Brought to you by you, yours truly. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, you two family foul this away. Favorite candy right here. Peanut M&M's. You better believe it. Alright, boys. Do you want one? Yeah. Alright. More than one? Oh, I don't know about that on Father's Day. These are for Papa. Oh, two green in a row. Who wants two greens? have it beautiful day father's day grilling plus striving for laziness i'll explain i'll explain that in a minute first of all shout out to all the new subscribers whoa uh, i think yesterday's vlog from the leadville marathon it got pretty epic here's a little b-roll footage from that race go check it out upper right hand corner if you have not seen it and yes olympian kara goucher was at this trail race absolutely amazing at 10,000 feet above sea level so anyway welcome to all the new subscribers and just so you know I'm a big runner. I'm recovering from my own injury right now. That's actually probably one of the reasons I didn't race that race. Uh, it was on my radar for jumping into this summer. Maybe the half, I don't know if I would have done the full, but at least the half marathon, the lead man, I believe it's called. But uh, I'm coming back from a bone injury in my second and third metatarsals. Uh, so a stress reaction, bone bruise, whatever you want to call it. And uh, basically I started jogging again gently over the past 10 days. Uh, but today, for everyone that's been watching a long time, you probably noticed that as I was drinking coffee on Father's Day, doing a little bit of yard work, baby yard work, and then grilling for the family, you may have noticed the boot on my foot. So, haha, <laughs> haha, oh man, um, it does not hurt. The foot does not hurt to run, I should put it that way. I can run pain-free easily, but remember I said this three days ago. Let's stay healthy as much as possible. So I'm just working the feet, working the feet, working everything. Not just the feet, but the lower ankle, the lower leg, the, the Achilles area, the tendon. And so it is that tight feeling that I don't want it to progress into something more. And so therefore, I refuse to let this injury go backward. I'm not going backward, there's no way. So I'm not gonna risk it. It's a, on a pain scale, it's like one to two. And I've alerted the doctor and he told me like, make sure it doesn't go to four or five. It, it don't, you don't wanna go there. And so I put myself in the boot. And even yesterday filming uh, the Leadville Marathon, okay, no so pain at all except for when I got back home and I was just walking around my house, my foot, it just felt a little, the only way, the best way I can describe it is tight. And again, I just don't want the tightness to develop into a sharp acute pain or a pain that rises above a two on the one to 10 pain scale. And so anyway, that is why you saw me in the boot today. I'm just being extra cautious. I don't want to mess with it and I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No. I, I am not going backward. We're gonna knock this thing out. We're gonna knock it out like a boxer hitting someone in the face. Like I'm done with this injury. I refuse to go backwards. So I'm gonna be extra careful and um, I'll wake up tomorrow, see how it feels. I'm not gonna jog tomorrow. I'm just gonna let it continue to progress as it needs. And it's so hard though, because it's like, well, how do you know if it's officially healed? And that is why I am going to strive for laziness. In fact, I'm probably not even going to cross train right now. I'm just going to knock it out. We're just, it's over. I'm not going to put any pressure on it with biking. No more like landscaping. Like I'm, I'm just done, done, done. You could, you could probably hear it in my voice. Like I'm ready to be done. And so as lazy as I can be, and I use that term kind of uh, laughingly, but like that's not in my DNA to be lazy. But if that's what it takes for me to just sit around and do not much, that's what it takes. So um, anyway, if you see me sitting around a little bit more over the next three days, two days, week, I don't know. And of course, I'll keep you updated. I'm going to continue to talk to the doctor. So I know that's probably not the news you expected today. It's not what I wanted. But again, got to listen to our bodies. We only got one body. Actually, that's what my shirt says. One billion, one body. So we only got one body. And uh, I'm going to take care of it. I'm not going backwards. I've already said that a million times because I'm drilling it into my brain. No going backwards because I want to get back to full running, racing, filming for you guys. So thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Keyword is grilling. Question of the day. I already asked it. And thanks for being here. 
on a Sunday. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. We're gonna make it. I'm okay. We're gonna make it. Lazy. Hashtag lazy. See you tomorrow.